Barry Hill has been given a mission by the world's top governments to collect the funniest stuff he can find to prove in the event of an alien invasion that humans are quite good fun to hang out with. The mission code name, Alien Fun Capsule. Welcome to Alien Fun Capsule. Yes, I was as surprised as you when I heard it was coming back. <laughs> I was that close to booking a tour. <laughs> Apparently, I'm collecting all the funniest stuff I can find and putting it into a capsule. I can't even believe I'm saying this stuff. <laughs> to prove to the aliens that we're good fun to hang out with. But I can't save the human race on my own. No, I've got guests to help me. Please welcome, from Coronation Street, Sally Dinavor. <laughs> Top political pundit Robert Piston. Yes, we've gone up market, no offence, Sally. <laughs> but having gone up market with Robert, we come crashing back down as we welcome Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> of course. Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> and next to Mickey. Oh, the chair is empty. Well, I'm sure our guest is on her way. Jumpsuit on under the jumpsuit. Yeah. Yeah, I might just uh, save that for later. But um, <laughs> what? So uh, Annika, Annika Rice from Challenge Annika to Treasure Hunt. We know you from so many shows. Let's have a look at your best bits. Oh no. Annika Rice's best bits. Join us again next week. Goodbye. Stuff. Lovely stuff. That was, of course, from a show called... Treasure Hunt. From Treasure Hunt, of course. <laughs> just explain the idea behind that, just uh, for the... Well, I'm anywhere in the world linked only by sound, yes. and the contestants have to direct me around the countryside via clues to get to the final treasure. Mm. And I thought this format was thin. <laughs> <laughs> for younger viewers, who was the main host of Treasure Hunt? Kenneth Gendel. Now, what I liked about Kenny was the way he could change his voice at will to that of a robot. And if you're ready, start the clock. You've got just a little <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> mm. Perhaps he's asthma. I don't think he's asthma. <laughs> Actually, Robert, I was a little concerned the other day yeah. about your asthma. Let's <laughs> just uh, <laughs> let's just test your peak flow. Just uh, <laughs> just blow into that for me, Robert, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> <laughs> Seems to be all in order, Pesto. Is it all right if I call you Pesto? Sorry, just to because <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be honest. I know some people do call you Pesto. Some people do. It's a bit like the Italian uh, pasta sauce. A little goes a long way. No, I didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> You're sitting next to, of course, Sally Webster. The legendary. Um, well, actually, um, it's Sally Dinova. My character name is Sally Webster. Well, yeah, well, you've been in it 32 years, so come <laughs> <in> some <slack>. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of, of Corey? I Bob? am a fan, yeah. Yes, I was yes. talking to Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you probably I were 32 I'm years at it. <laughs> yeah, we're all fans. <laughs> good. And Mickey Flanagan, you're no longer, of course, the humble East no. Ender that I met in the clubs all those years ago. Do you remember Mickey? Yes. Yes? I've, I've moved on. <laughs> you have, of course, been enormously I'm... successful with your arena tours, playing to upwards of 20,000 people at a time. Yes. Which proves I know nothing about this business. <laughs> <laughs> you are a funny man. Yes. I'm sure everyone is longing to know what makes Mickey Flanagan laugh. I like animal clips, really. Dogs on skateboards, that sort of thing. Well, if you like dogs on skateboards, Mickey, I've got something even funnier. Ever seen a dog on a tortoise? It's <laughs> in <laughs> yes, 
where we threw in the cat and the goat. <laughs> yeah. But you know what my favourite clip of all time is? Yeah, this is quite a big moment. Notice how everyone sits forward. Yeah. In seat. <laughs> I can't wait. Dog driving a kid to school. <laughs> yeah, you like this sort of stuff, Robert? Loved it sort of stuff, I mean. <laughs> Now, you were, of course, economics editor for the BBC when you were poached in the high-profile bidding war and you bagged your own show on ITV. It's true. Yes. Well, well I, I have to say, you did seem a bit nervous when you first started out and it, it took a couple of shows before you really started to relax. Hello and welcome to Peston on Sunday. Hello and welcome to another action-packed Peston on Sunday. Watcha. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Watch your cock! <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, there was that producer who stuck your fingers together with superglue as a prank, but you carried on regardless. European Union is in the middle of the at their expense. Now, it's not going to leave France to quit the EU. <laughs> Office hijinks. <laughs> you may not be aware of it, Robert, but you have the honour of being responsible for the highest, perhaps, of the week. Perhaps of the week. Idea that China is an exception to the normal rules. So perhaps. Perhaps. But we really must get on and have a round. And to help us choose a category, we welcome Alan the Alien, who's in this tombola. <clears throat> All right, Alan. Now, the reason Alan is still here when all the other aliens have returned to the planet, uh, Mars? Might be Mars, I don't know. <laughs> well, he does suffer with motion sickness. How's your tummy now, Alan? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, in the tombola are various bits of paper with different categories on. We'll seal that up, give it a good old mix-up, and then Alan will pick one. <laughs> Sally, would you mind giving it a spin? Yes. Mixing those of categories up for us. <laughs> what a good old spin there. That's it. Go on. That's it. <coughs> All right. Happy with that? Yeah. Let's just uh, open the hatch. Let's see. How are you feeling, Alan? Give me the. Give me the category. Need that. The category is Where's the horse? 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 All right, where's the horse? Which horse? Out of the ring. Oh, there's the horse. An extraordinary Where's the Horse moment. I carried on doing the show because we never stopped for anything and then ended up in A&E. Oh, Tuffy. Annika. But look on the bright side, you did manage to secure a number of votes for women. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sally, I noticed looking back over your life on the street that you used to have one little tiny hand. Do you remember? <laughs> no. no. Oh, well, let's just remind you. We can buy things for Rosie. It's just a comfort, Kev. I don't feel as desperate every Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, and where's it all come from? <laughs> a pound here and a pound there. It soon ramps up, that. A little squirrel, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had one little tiny hand. Yeah, I've got one of those too. Look, there's my... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Annika. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it, it's not a big deal. I mean, it, it does mean you can get into jars of pickled onions and select the best ones, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Saying that, I really fancy a pickled onion, but, you know, I've, I've left them in my dressing room with the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just get one.
Yeah, that's a nice big one. That, that looks nice, Harry. Oh, sorry, Robert. How rude of me. Did you want one? <laughs> I want my one. Oh. All right. Let me just go. <laughs> you got a small Robert. Um, big, please, Harry. Big. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, um, Harry. Yes, uh, Annika. Could I have a pickled onion? <laughs> of course, yeah. Just, uh, just to save time, Sally, Mickey, do you want? No, no, you're right. Uh, you yeah, no. please. You'd like one, Sally? In fact, I'll get these, Harry. Oh, if you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> Big or small, Annika? Oh, uh, surprise me. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Annika. Mm, thank you so much. <laughs> Time for a break. We haven't put anything in the capsule yet. Like I say, it's a deeply flawed format. Now, <laughs> before I go, I have a question. Wow. I wouldn't mess with them guys, bro. It's gonna kick off here. What happens next? Mm, what happens next? Find out after the break. <laughs> Capsule, where I'm joined by Mickey Flanagan, Annika Rice, Robert Peston, Sally Dinamore. Yes, it's like a person who books this show has never seen a panel show before in his life. <laughs> before the break, I asked a question. Wow, I wouldn't mess with them guys, bro. It's gonna kick off here. What happens next? Ooh, what happens next? Let's find out. It's gonna kick off here. It is oh my god! Oh god. Now, Robert, settle an argument. Are you still earning a little extra money on the side by doing Highland dancing on street corners? I don't know what you mean, Harry. <laughs> oh yes, we've got the evidence to prove it. <laughs> Yeah, nice socks. Found out. Well, it's tough in you since they closed the gender pay gap. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be here otherwise, would I? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no. Now, Annika Rice, you've presented so many shows over the years, you even took over the holiday show for a while, didn't you? I did. I liked your euphemism for using the loo. I definitely feel a visit to my auntie Gladys's attic coming on. <laughs> the old auntie Gladys's attic. Yes. Now, you famously turned your back on fame in the 90s, didn't you, Annika? I did, Harry. But you recently returned to the spotlight on the Channel 4 show, Hunted. Do you know, it was fantastic, because for ten days, no-one knew where we were, so me and my lovely cameraman, we went from Farmer's Shepherd's Hut to Field to Farmer's Shepherd's Hut. We had a lovely time. It's glorified hide-and-seek, basically, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> but, um, you proved yourself a master of disguise. I particularly was impressed by your chicken disguise. 
Annika Rice has been keeping a low profile. <laughs> that took hours. You employed all sorts of techniques to prevent yourself from being detected, didn't you? I did. You used a wig? Well, I had, I had taken with me some wigs, and so at one point I thought it might be useful to get my brown wig out and some glasses. The brown wig and glasses, yes. And I thought the double you used as a decoy was a real find. David, are you up for that? Yeah. Putting on a blonde wig, running out the front, yeah. glasses off. <laughs> good. It's pretty good, considering you're blue. <laughs> it was uncanny. Did you enjoy your time on Hunted Annika? It was OK, <laughs> but it was really going from a hunter to being a hunted. Mm. Just, a, just a second. Sorry, I thought for a moment you, were, you weren't Annika, but David the decoy. <laughs> what do you think, Mickey? I'm pretty sure that's Annika. <laughs> Sally? She looks like Annika to me. <laughs> Robert? I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure it's Annika. Fair enough. Go on, clear off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's David from Hunted, everyone. Thank you. Oh! you. Yeah, he's oh. good. He's a master of disguise. Yes, David? Harry. Where's Auntie Gladys' acting? Oh, down the corridor, first on the left. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, uh, time for a round. <laughs> and to select the subject of the round, I use my trusty Rolodex, packed with index cards with various subjects on them. So, let's give it a spin and see where it ends. There we are. It's going to stop. Where's it going to stop? Where it's going to land? Where's it going to land? Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, that... Fish! Fish! <laughs> the category is fish. So, Nicky Flanagan, of course, a lot of people may not know, but you were once something other than a comic, weren't you? Yes. For a number of years, I was a Billingsgate fish porter. Do you have a favourite fish? Did you develop a particular favourite? Pollocks. The same to you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a member of the Pollock Appreciation Society. Oh, you Society. like Pollock? Yeah. yeah. yeah well, yeah, of we... course, Pollock has become more popular, Yeah, we get it? together and we... we have a lovely evening talking Pollocks. <laughs> Pollock has become more and more popular. <laughs> Because it used to be cod when we were growing up, but there are differences, as one of the Billingsgate traders helped to explain. If that's a human being, the cod's a human being, that goes to the gym every day, yeah? It eats all the right foods. It probably drives a Porsche, right? <laughs> this, Pollock, is sitting at home on the set E in a tracksuit watching Jeremy Kyle eating a burger. <laughs> yeah. Uh... And, of course, West Highland Terriers drive a red convertible. <laughs> He's here, look. Oh. He's giving the Pollock a lift over from the drive through McDonald's. <laughs> there he goes. I'm putting that into the fun capsule. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, we got one in. Now, back to you, Annika. I love Treasure Hunt, but, you know, I loved Challenge Annika. You did so many crazy projects, didn't you? Yeah. Well, no, we did over 60... 62, I think. I particularly enjoyed the episode where you built a community centre in Ilfracombe. Oh, yes. Which involved yes. you recruiting children who were putting on a performance of Soldiers of the Jungle from the musical Yamamamo. We are on the lookout for some very proficient singers and dancers to entertain the troops on Wednesday. So I just wondered, since you're all there on stage, perhaps you could give me a quick extract from what you're doing at the moment. Yamamamo. <laughs> it's one of my favourite musicals. <laughs> Ever wondered what happened to those boys and girls? 
No. Well, of course, they're in the 60s now, but they made the 200-mile journey from Ilfracum to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, singing Soldiers of the Jungle from Yamamamo. It's Ilfracum Junior School! <laughs> My thanks to guests, Sunny Nimble, Annika Reif, Nikki Fanning and Robert Pestman. That's all for most. If you have any questions, give me a ring. Good night. <laughs>